What's up guys welcome back to another video and it's been so long since I actually show my face on a video Anyway this video title as it suggests we are going to revisit data tables again but uh, this time we are going to be using a different approach and uh, in, in our last data table series we used the uh, table that came along with uh, material 2 framework right a lot of people were asking me about pagination and a uh, few people were asking me uh, like is there any easier way to show data in a data table <coughs> some people were asking me about uh, inline editing and uh, yeah people were asking about a lot of other features uh, and there were people who obviously weren't familiar with rxjs as well and they kept on asking me whether there was any easier way to show data from firestore into uh, in a data table so yeah this video is exclusively for those guys and in this video we'll be using ngx data table library this is again by the company called swimlane if you remember we use this company's charts ngx charts in our uh, angular 5 charts video i link that uh, video in the description below so uh, this same swimlane again this is not sponsored or anything i just like their product that's it and uh, let's see how to use their data table, uh, ngx data table in our uh, app to pull Firestore data and then display it in a table in a nice way. We'll also see how to uh, bring in a progress bar and pagination as well uh, in this video. So let's get started. Okay, now it's big, right? Uh, first I have included firebase config as you can see here in environment and i also have installed uh, angular firestore i mean angular fire 2 library uh, so yeah i have done all those setup configurations i'm not going to get into detail on that since we have already seen a lot on how to configure firebase to use it along with your uh, application so in this video let's see first of all oh, wait i'll open up We'll open up the documentation as well and uh, we'll choose installing so i'll go ahead and install this okay this is done so the next thing we need to do is we just click on getting started okay i need to import a module which i'll do now Okay, this is done. The next thing I need to do is, oh, I just need to import their directive and uh, huh, yeah, I just need to import their uh, selector and it's done, right? So I'll just go ahead and do this. I'll remove all these. Paste it and uh, oh, I need to have a rows as well as columns. Okay, we'll populate that from Firestore. Before that, I need to collection. What is this? Uh, students, right? Yeah, students. Dot.
crop name name okay uh, now let's see how this goes oh we didn't call this right get data okay uh then we do no data to display by the way why is this showing like this oh i didn't select a particular theme right just copy these three and then paste it in styles.css okay and get back now it should display it in a well no gad we get the data but nothing is getting displayed right let's see check it up yeah we need to specify i guess we need to specify a class for wait class equals material now i guess it would look a bit more cool see it looks cool right and uh, we get what happened to the student name okay uh, this looks fine but still let's fix this it's not the desired output that we need right let me go back into app.component.ts first of all i will give you a specific width now it looks cool right guys <clears throat> now it looks cool right we have a table that shows our data and uh, we have three columns that whose name we couldn't even see properly uh, let's fix that so what i'll do is uh, instead of having it like this i'll introduce my own uh, first i'll increase the header height sorry sorry that's the property i think the yeah, header height uh, i'll give it as 50 okay and uh, row height auto okay now let's check yeah it's cool right it now looks more professional right the row height has adjusted automatically as well as the header is a bit uh, you know pronounced now but even then the column names aren't getting displayed as well and uh, the table is not occupying the entire width right so let's fix this that's because we are simply programming the columns we'll remove this entirely instead of this what i'll do is i'll uh, write my own template for each and every column so in order to do that what i'll do is first i'll uh, ngx data table column and uh, i'll give it a name name will be student name okay uh, inside this ng template ngx data table cell template val sorry value is a property value value equals value okay close this ng template and simply use string interpolation inside this value is not value this is let value okay and we'll do the same for the other two columns as well but instead of student name we'll give student age and uh, student grade okay uh, yeah this is fine let's see what this gives for us okay now we are getting somewhere okay now we are getting somewhere but still uh, it doesn't occupy the entire width of the column right let's fix that as well to do that simply give we have column modes guys if you see here uh, where is it there's a column right we have modes uh, we have like three or four modes a flex forced and uh, some other standard mode uh, so i'll give forced here oh sorry force see now the entire the 
data table is occupying the entire width and it looks more professional as well and these uh, headers are all i mean these columns are all resizable guys for example see it automatically resizes right based on how much i drag you can see that right you can see that it automatically resizes based on this uh, headers alignment okay uh, now we'll see more cool features in the okay now the next thing we'll do is uh, we'll try to add pagination to this okay that was the most requested feature in the uh, previous data table as well so we'll go ahead and do that so uh, in order to do pagina pagination what i'll do is there is a simple uh, attribute that i just need to add along with this which is called first i'll add account footer height equals 50 this will give a footer as well and then i will add a count and uh, 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 that's two right next thing i'll do is i'll add a limit for it automatically added right totally there are eight rows four are getting displayed here and four are getting displayed in the page two as well uh, if i change it to five then five are getting displayed here and three are getting it automatically gives you the page in feature i mean pagination feature guys for example if i add just two then actually there should be four pages right let's see what happens eight total and there are four pages and these pages these uh, buttons work as well right so, so pagination has become very easy right so yeah, uh, this is what I wanted to show you guys today. This is a, I mean, is a much easier approach to bringing in a data table inside your application rather than using the table from uh, Material 2. It's up to your uh, wish. You could use anything uh, in your application. Uh, so yeah, guys, this is what I wanted to show you guys today. In the next video, we'll see how to do inline editing. Okay, inline editing. That is, you could just double click on a particular uh, column and uh, you could edit the particular uh, cell in that specific row and specific column we'll see how to do that in the next video uh, so if you like this video hit the like button if you like what i'm doing on this channel kindly subscribe to my channel uh, to watch more cool stuff like that and uh, like this i mean and yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye